Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft with Andy. Today we are going to be continuing to quest around Hellfire Peninsula. So starting out here, let's just check our map. Looks like we've got uh, 12 Ganark Sappers to kill. Uh, we also need to kill Marauding Crustbursters and I guess kill Fell Sprites. So first thing we're going to do is head into the mines here. It's something we've been putting off for a while. And uh, go ahead and try to take care of this, so... We've got to kill the Ganarg Sappers and also these, uh... Whatever these guys are, the Maidens of Pain. So there we go, we'll use our... Use our easy killing blow on that guy. There we go. So they're not too difficult. And let's see... We also need to do something else. I can't quite tell what the other quest that's in this area is, but, you know, it's important. There we go. Oh, didn't see this guy here. So we'll take him down first. There we go. It's number three, so we're a quarter of the way done. Not too bad. Oh, and I'm gonna reapply Legacy of the Emperor since that is worn off. Always good to keep that buff up. It's a very powerful one. Alright. Oh, and there's a guy up here. Don't want to forget about him. There we go. Alright. I need to take a look at the map and try to figure out what the secondary quest in this area is. Just to make sure that we get it done. So let's see what we've got. Obviously Ganark Sappers. But then... So there's that one. This... There, there, and Dranai Prayer Beads. Recover the Prayer Beads, return them to Assistant Klaatu and Honor Hold. Alright. Oh, they're in the courtyard, that's why they're... I was gonna say, I don't recall anything else being down here, but uh, it's something we need to do up above. So we'll kill the rest of the Ganarg Sappers, and then we'll go up to the courtyard and take a look around for some prayer beads. There we go. guy down. So only two more needed. Should be able to get this guy and that one. And then once we get them together we can chi burst them both for super damage. There we go. Alright and there's another one down. Great. So we can head out of here, we've got this complete now. No need to go any further into this stupid Not tunnel ready. thing. And we'll head back out this way. That ability is not ready yet. Can't can't roll yet. Not ready. Alright, so Foreman Bigums. Turn this in. Complete. Uh, locate and kill Zakral in the mines beneath on her hold. Ah, oh, man, you couldn't have given me this quest, like, when we went in just now. It would have been a lot easier. It would have been a lot easier. Okay, so, we'll go back in here, we'll find, uh, Zakral, the mastermind. And... 
take him out, I guess. Shouldn't be too difficult. So where are, oops, where are you, Zikral? Ah, there, there he is. So we'll just loop around this way. We may or may not even aggro these. And I'll take him down. Kabam! Nothing stands in the way of an angry monk. got like a little bit of lag trying to loot that but other than that we should be good to go we've killed the crawl now we can go look for the Draenei prayer beads up top We still have our pumpkin head as well. It looks like we've got, what, at least 30 to 40 minutes, 41 minutes left on that. So that's kind of neat. Miner's blade, or miner's brace, or miner's sash. Hmm. Uh, well, the brace is actually good for us, so I guess we'll go with that. So go ahead and equip this brace, and then fly on up here. I need to make more bandages at some point. We've got kind of low quality bandages. I haven't really been using them, so unfortunately they don't they don't kind of come in as a high priority. All right. So Drenai prayer beads. Honor holds courtyard. I believe the dog Fei Fei stole them and buried them, but I don't know where. If you speak with his master, Warrant Officer Tracy Proudwell. Ah, oh, there we go. What can I do for you? I heard your dog took Klaatu's prayer beads. Okay. All right. One. All right. This this might work. Let's talk to Fei Fei. Uh, Fei Fei dog treat. Where do I get a? We get a dog treat. Huh. Hello. Alright, let's see. Needs attention. See you around. That's not very helpful. Let's see if this quest says anything again. Um No. Hmm. Alright, so we need dog treats. We need dog treats for the dog. They're not I mean, they're not like in a box right here or anything silly like that, are they? Let's see. Maybe we can talk to a quartermaster or something to see if we can buy some dog treats. Or the innkeeper, you know? Why not? The innkeeper usually sells food and stuff. Maybe, maybe the innkeeper will have some dog treats. Hello, innkeeper. Uh, Ravager Dog. Yeah, no, doesn't, doesn't look like there are dog treats here. Maybe this guy? Nope, he's just like a chef. Huh. I'm honestly not sure how to approach this. I mean... It can't be that difficult, right? Do I... Do I already have the dog treats? Trick or treat? No? I don't... I don't think I have the dog treats. But it clearly wants them. Oh, wait. Maybe I can buy from her. Yeah. For silken thread? Okay, so I need to get silken thread from, what, like the thread store? Can I help you? 
Do you sell silken thread? No, no you don't. I'm pretty sure you can buy silken thread like back in Stormwind somewhere, but do I really need to go all the way back there just for this? Okay. This is a little silly. We're just gonna we're just gonna move on for now. Uh, when we come across a silken thread distributor, we'll we'll come back for this. I don't know why they don't just accept gold for dog treats. Like gold is gold's pretty good. So are these the yeah, there's one of the guys I have to fight. They dig underground. They're pretty gross. And we got this. What is this? Eroded leather, leather case. Return it to Thaya Redmain. Alright. Will do. Let's get another one of these guys. Come on out, worm, worm. We can mostly avoid the Hellbores, since we don't really need to don't really need to fight them. There we go. Another one. Oh, I see. They, they actually kind of knock me if I get right on top of them. Bam! Take that, you worm. Alright. Alright, that's uh, four... Four out of fifteen slain? That's not too bad. You only gotta kill, like, eleven more. Almost a third of the way done. Now we are a third of the way done. Alright. More crust bursters. We'll run in circles and confuse and disorient and... Alright. Get up here and ah, it's nice because we can fly up in order to look around for more. I need it. Oh, Bam! Every now and then our killing blow is, you know, really, really effective. It's very useful. All right, let's go over to this uh, crashed zeppelin and see if there's anything else we can get quest-wise. Are there any quests here? Yeah. Alright, Legacy. 12 Ravager eggs. Alright, and then this guy, 30 pieces of Zeppelin debris. Uh, yeah, that's not even that cool of a hat. I mean, it's an okay hat, but it's not like an amazing hat, so I'm not really, not really that inclined to... You know, right back. I guess we'll go work on 30 pieces of debris. It could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I do want to finish up this Crust Burster quest, though. I'll do a little aerial scan and see if there's any more Crust Bursters. Because we'll see them doing their, their weird little, like, ground royally thing. Ah, like that. See them... See them down here, knocking up all these stones. There we go. I wonder if I can... Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can hit an underground one. Like that, but that didn't really work out. So, we're just gonna loot this guy and then and go fight another. Come here, buddy. Come here, Mr. Worm. Alright, another one down. And then this one will make ten. Looks like there's a few more further down this valley thing. So that'll be good for us. There we go. Oh, and we gotta loot this guy. Forgot to loot him. Alright. That ability is not ready yet. Oh, nice. We got, like, three more of them here, too. This is great. Oh, God, no. This is more than... This is more than three. 
Wow. These are... These are actually kind of problematic here. Alright. Another one down. There we go. Now they're all dead. Uh, we still need two more, I think. Yeah, two more. So we'll head up here. Ah, here's a couple. One and two. Kill this one. There we go. And then this guy. And we'll be good to go. We'll go turn this in. And perhaps look for some wreckage from a Zeppelin. No, 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 I didn't want to be in combat with the boar. Oh, fine. Alright, we'll kill the boar. Kill this deranged hell boar. And then we'll be good to go. Alright. So if we head back up here, we can turn in, uh... Turn in these. Or turn in this one. I guess. And as long as we don't get a follow-up quest, we'll be good to go on to other things. So we get either an imbued chain, strength, agility, stamina, looks pretty good, or a caster ring. So we're going to go for the imbued chain. Grab that and equip it. And we're already on this quest, so that's good. So we have a lot to turn in over in that section. One thing we need to do is head out uh, over here and kill some fell sprites. No, fell spirits. Sorry. Thought it said fell sprites. But apparently we need to avenge somebody named Jules. So, we're gonna do that. Shouldn't be too hard to find fell spirits. These. Are these fell? These are kind of fell. we gotta do? Place this at Gorgaz Outpost? Gorgaz Outpost? Oh, I see. We don't need to kill those down there. We have to go up uh, up here and place a relic, and then, then we'll get attacked by the fell spirits. That, uh, that makes a little more sense. Alright, so... Just come down in here, and we'll place this. There we go, we got our relic. Bring forth the fell spirits. Huh. Oh! Oh, I see what's going on here. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. I'll get you. No, uh, I wanted him laser beamed on the mine. All right, there we go. Oh man, he got both of the fell spirits. All right, I see what we got to do now. So it makes makes some sense. We basically have to we have to kill him twice, more or less. So I'm gonna place this thing. And then Okay, good, it's active. That guy goes down, and then Fell Spirit comes out. And then we go, kabam! Kill the Fell Spirit. Problem solved. 
That's uh, one out of ten. Alright. I'm gonna lure this guy back to the relic, though, since we can't really. I am out of range. Bam. Take that. So we're gonna have a lot of guys fighting us here, but that's okay. I think we'll do it. I just want to get on the right side of them so that if we fire off a... Uh, any of those ranged attacks, they don't go past us and just cause us more trouble. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that to heal up a little bit. And then head over here, drop the relic, click it. I don't know if clicking it is necessary, but I mean, I've clicked it each time and then it's made a laser beam, so. So far, so good. There's a fell spirit down. I am out of range. No. It is too far away. Try to just get that guy all, all riled up. I am out of range. Bring him over here. He'll get laser beamed as well. So that's good. And there we go. Killing blow. So that's four. It's not bad. Let's, uh, let's put this thing down again since I have a feeling it's about to run out. Come on. There we go. And we got click it. We got click it so that it makes the laser beam. with this uh, fell spirit. It's kind of annoying having to kill guys twice because it's not like they're, you know, drastically less powerful because you need to fight them again. It's just... Just annoying. Alright. There's that guy. And his fell spirit. Oh, we are. We are at low health. Alright. Health problem eliminated. Oh no, a relic. A relic. Alright, then we click it. Now we're good to go. We use touch of karma just to redirect some of the damage back on him. And then we got our friendly neighborhood fell spirit. Alright, so that's 7 out of 10. I guess we'll try pulling these guys in the hut. Oh boy. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be good. Oh, I see. I'll use this thing. I'll buff up my buff up my stats. Increased attack speed. It's great. Increased healing as well. Oh man, we're just destroying those guys. And then let's roll over here. Use this. And boom. Number 10 going down. There he goes. Alright. So that's that quest taken care of. And that one needs to be turned in back at the Temple of Telmat, I think. Fefe doggy treats. Still need 12 Ravager eggs. 
I want to figure out this doggy treats thing, though. This is really bugging me now. So, the silk, or the the thread, the silken thread, that's got to be available somewhere here. Because they wouldn't just be like, oh, go get me this odd item for no particular reason. Hmm. It's got to be something. Also, wow, why is there a... Uh, there are a lot of, like, dark spirits and... Well, that doesn't look good. Tell you what, we're gonna go turn in, uh, turn in our quest at the Temple of Telmat, and maybe this one, the missing missive. We'll just kind of do a sweep through here, see how it goes. The Temple of Telmat should be a good place to turn in a quest, pick up a little XP. We also need to uh, take the missing missive down to. Uh, the long beards, I think. No, where, where does that get turned in? Ah, I see. These locations, like the Overlook, they are, uh, they're the PvP spots that I've previously mentioned. Currently, all three are controlled by the Horde. However, if uh, an Alliance player stands inside those rings for a while, they will slowly convert them from Horde to Alliance. It'll convert the ring, that is. However, that will alert other players to their presence in that area, and uh, so Horde players that are inclined to defend those rings or just are looking for a fight will come and fight them. So, it's a good place to go if you want to run into some other players and fight them and all that, but not so great if you're trying to lay low. Alright, so you don't sell silken thread. You're not helpful. Uh, weapons merchant. You wish to buy silk thread's kind three. of a... Kind of a weapon. Apparently not kind of a weapon enough. Although these... Those are really cool looking. We could transmogrify our weapons, which is to make them look uh, like another item without actually changing their stats. We could transmogrify our weapons to look like these. That would be, that would be very cool. In fact, I'm gonna buy one of these just so that we can do that down the road. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. Sell, sell, sell. That old armor, carapaces, carapaces. I don't, I don't know what the proper term for that is. And I'm just going to put this up here and sell those bandages. So, there we go. Alright, where do we need to turn in this quest? Let's, uh, let's talk to the right people here. Amon the Wise. May the light embrace you. Yes, may the light embrace you as well. Good Complete no, that quest. Alright. Now we're going to do this one. Let's get some candy. And we got turned into a wisp. That's that's pretty cool. So we'll open our handful of treats. We got some spearmint candy. Makes me look cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. So let's take a look at our stuff here. We've got uh, Fist Weapon, level 87, and Faux Reaver, level 81. So Strength, Agility, Stamina, Hit, Crit, and Stamina. So then we could replace one of those with a level 90 Battle Mace of the Soldier. So, Strength, Crit, Stamina. It's probably pretty good. I think we'll replace the Vampiric Hand Scythes, because while the sword is, you know, technically probably a little worse than the Hand Scythes, I like the sword better, so we're going to stick with it for now. Uh, the other thing that we could do is transmog our equipment. So I'm going to try to do that and see if we can't use the hearthstone return to the trade district. Also a wisp using a hearthstone. This is pretty funny. I just kind of glow green instead of glowing blue. But anyway, we'll uh, return to the trade district here 
and in just a second we will go and look around see if we can't find the transmog place nope we can't mount up how long are we oh my god wisp costume 59 minutes remaining that's not gonna fly so we're gonna we're gonna undo that and mount up now pretty soon we can probably afford to get uh, flying skill for Azeroth. Why are there orange fires all over the place? Stink... Oh, uh, we got stink bomb. That's gross. That is... That is capital G gross. Alright. These are the ethereals. They're pretty cool guys. And among other, other things, they can actually... Uh, transmogrify our weapons. So, let's open up our inventory here. Drag this guy. This item's appearance can't be used? Why can't its appearance be used? Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's make this one look like that, at least. And there we go. Now we got matching swords. So we just made our mace look like a sword. And that's pretty neat. I think I think that's pretty neat. It basically just allows you to uh, to change your weapons to look like whatever you want. So, uh, within reason. There's actually a fair amount of limitations on it. So, whatever you want really isn't the right term. But, you can basically make uh, maces, one-handed maces look like one-handed swords and vice versa. I think you can actually make fist weapons look like maces or swords. That's kind of cool. Um, Two-handed weapons, I think you can switch maces with swords and possibly with pole arms. I'm not certain. Uh, although it might be like staves and pole arms or something silly like that. So, uh, yeah, just play around with it. Look around online and there's lots of information on how exactly transmogrification works. But all in all, it's a pretty neat thing that they added to the game. I'm a little disappointed in this sword, because I figured for 13 gold we're getting a we're getting a cool sword appearance and you know, that's that's great, but apparently not. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and next time looks like we should hit level 62, so we're moving along nicely. Look forward to seeing you then, so enjoy. Bye.